Game seven is tied with three and a half to go here in the fourth. Green back to Thompson. Thompson spins, shoots over Irving. Can't get it to fall, and Kevin Love his 13th rebound. Again, I think Cleveland would be better served to get into whatever they're getting into quicker. Now we're going to see J.R. Smith probably set the screen getting Curry in the action. Curry now picks him up. Five to shoot. James Powers drives down the lane. Layup missed it. Iguodala contested. Draymond Green kicks it out. Iguodala for three. Rebound James, and he's fouled by Curry. That's going to be four fouls on Curry. Third team foul. And we'll take a timeout as we get under the three-minute mark. But you want to win. This has got to be the mindset. This is good defense and good offense. That's both ways. Championship effort and on the other end. Clearly the contact by Curry forcing James to go down. We have ourselves a ball game, a champion soon to come. 250 remaining fourth quarter of game seven. The only triple doubles in the history of a game seven of the finals were from Jerry West and James Worthy until tonight as LeBron James with 26, 10, and 11. And Green this time, a power move to the basket, but Iguodala right there. That's clearly contact. Yep. Iguodala got away with it. And those are the tough calls to make. Meanwhile, Draymond Green, one assist shy of a triple-double to join James. Irving will bring it up. James holding, throws it into Love, guarded by Barnes. Love a little jump, hook, short, rebound Green. 14 rebounds for Draymond Green to go with 32 points. Curry finds Iguodala, drives, kicks it out, Barnes. Barnes out to Green, puts up a three. And Cavs get it back with 2.11 remaining. That's great rotation by the Cleveland Cavaliers. James closes to the opposite corner. Love pulls the trigger. On to Green. Terrific defense and very good offense by the Warriors. And good offense on the Cavs part in the last possession with Love taking a tough shot. But if I'm Kyrie Irving or LeBron James, the offense is running through me right now. Irving drives, hop step inside, floats it up, misses. Rebound taken by Iguodala. Iguodala to Curry, back to Iguodala, up for the layup. Oh, blocked by James. LeBron James with the rejection. Wow. His third block of the game as we come up on a minute and a half remaining. But again, get into your stuff quicker. Four to shoot. James inside, little jump hook. That's short. Rebound tipped and taken by Curry. Curry drives on Irving, pulls back for three. Doesn't even hit the rim as Irving comes the other way. And Teron Lue wants a timeout. Takes one of his final two timeouts left with 109 remaining and a tie game. Oh my goodness. Great pass by Curry, running hard by Iguodala, and superhuman defensive recovery by LeBron James. There you see the numbers, the triple-double from LeBron James, and Curry missing shots. We've seen him hit all season long in what has been an electrifying Game 7 here at Oracle Arena. And Mike, Ty Lue elects to take out Tristan Thompson, insert Richard Jefferson. Offensively, that'll give him more space. But if it's not a timeout, defensively, that's a real challenge for the Cavaliers against the likes of Curry and Thompson. Each team has a foul to give as we come up on a minute remaining. And they're putting Curry in the pick and roll, trying to get him on Irving. 
Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up. It's good. Kyrie Irving from downtown. And the Cavaliers by three. And I like the no timeout call by Steve Kerr. Love picks up Curry. Curry steps back, fakes the three, drives again, shut off nicely. Found to Green, seven to shoot. Curry fakes the three, steps back, crossover, puts up a three. Rebound James with what, 30 seconds remaining. What a spectacular job by Love. Irving on the drive, goes inside, lost it, gets it back and finds Love. There's a seven second difference between shot clock and game clock. And they had a foul to give, so Barnes fouls him there. But that's a bad foul, Mike. That Absolutely. gives him three extra seconds. And what was Kyrie Irving doing in transition? Well, James will inbound. Now there's a 4.7 difference between shot clock and game clock. Cavaliers have one timeout left. Can go in the backcourt in the last two minutes to get it. But they've got to manage this clock. They don't want to go early. Irving drives to James. Misses the jam, but foul. Warriors have two timeouts remaining. Stays a three-point game. And Mike, as a player, there's no pressure right now. You're up three. Worst case scenario, you got to give him one free throw. That should be the mindset. I missed it. You got to step up and knock this free throw down if you're LeBron James. Warriors will no doubt pull timeout. Miss or make here from James. Rattles in the second. Four-point game. Timeout Golden State. Curry runs off. Iguodala looking. Thompson catches. Thompson a couple of dribbles. Head fake. Tied up. Throws it in to Green on a foul on the entry pass. That's the foul to give. And now they'll take it out of bounds with 6.5 remaining. And you got to make sure you're in nobody's area to allow them to knock down a three and you get contact. I lost a, a playoff game on a phantom four-point play to Jeff Van Gundy. Iguodala to inbound. Shepard trying to stay with Curry catches one dribble steps back puts up a three won't go rebound tip taken by Spades final seconds it's over it's over Cleveland is a city of champions once again the Cavaliers are NBA champions Cleveland's long sports nightmare has ended. The drought is over. 52 years. Time to celebrate a title. And the emotions for LeBron James, who delivers on his promise to come home and bring a championship to his beloved hometown. Let's go to Doris. Mike, overcome with emotion is exactly how I would describe LeBron's reaction as he shares a hug with Kyrie. We'll get in in a minute, but he is still crying tears of joy. LeBron. I'm sorry, Doris. No, no worries, Kyrie. LeBron, as soon as that buzzer sounded, your emotions let loose. Can you describe what you're feeling right now? I set out a goal two years when I came back to bring a championship to the city. I gave everything that I had. I put my heart, my blood, my sweat, my tears to this game. And against all odds, against all odds, I don't know why we want to take the hardest road. I don't know why the man above gives me the hardest road, but it's nothing the man above. Don't put you in situations that you can't handle. And I just kept that same positive attitude. Like, instead of saying, why me? They're saying, this is what he want me to do. And uh, Cleveland, this is for you. Oh. LeBron, 
You did what no other team had been able to do, coming back from a 3-1 to one deficit in the finals. And to do that, you had to win twice in a place that proved too much for so many teams. What did you find in game five here? Uh, just locked in. I had to change my approach a little bit on how I approached the game. I wasn't that good in the first two games here in this building. I watched a lot of film, detailed it out, changed my blueprint, and uh, was able to put together some spectacular games after being down 3-1. History, we in the record books. We're the first team ever to come back from a 3-1 uh, deficit. This is special.